Let us take few other applications of dimensional analysis now. What are the commonly asked applications? I just give you few cases like this. The very first one here is they will provide us an equation stating what is what out of that barring few quantities and they may ask you to write the dimensional formulae of those physical quantities which have been represented by x, y or z or any other unknown quantity like. I will give you an example this way f into t is equal to m a minus b l. There is one equation given this way. Out of that it has been mentioned that f is a force t is given as a time, m is mentioned as mass and l is given as length. What is what out of that one? He has mentioned few quantities out of the given equation. f is given as force, t is given as a time, l is mentioned as length and m as mass. He has not given any sort of mention about a and b. Now, the question is find dimensions of or dimensional formulae for A and B. A and B are said to be two different quantities which are involved in the equation. But what are those two? He has not mentioned in the problem. Only thing what we have been asked to do in this case is, in spite of not knowing what are these two physical quantities, we have been asked to write their dimensional formulae. Now, in this regard, a simple concept one has to get to our mind. In fact, force into time, the product of force and time is called impulse, which also can be called as a change in linear momentum. Now, when this is impulse, you can now understand when we subtract B L from M A, we are getting impulse. I repeat, when we are subtracting B L from M A, we are getting impulse. What is the very meaning of it? This M A must be impulse, B L also must be impulse, then only impulse minus impulse gives us impulse. That means, in any physical quantity or in any physical equation in particular, when you are adding two quantities, both should belong to the same category like pressure plus pressure is valid, volume plus volume is valid, velocity plus velocity is valid, but pressure plus volume is not valid, it is not possible. Similarly, velocity plus acceleration is not correct. So, acceleration plus acceleration, velocity plus velocity or velocity minus velocity acceleration minus acceleration all these are valid. So, whenever you are adding two physical quantities or subtracting a physical quantity from the other one, both should belong to the same category, then only either we can add them or we can subtract one from the other. 